My guest tonight is Gabor Steingart. He is senior correspondent in Washington for the German news magazine Der Spiegel. He's the author of the very important book, The War for Wealth, The True Story of Globalization or Why the Flat World is Broken. Great to have you with us. Uh, let's, uh, let's start with uh, the first thing you say, referring to uh, the threat to the West from the Asian nations and economies. You write, the West can either treat the Asians as competitors or continue to refer to them as developing nations. It would be more honest to see them for what they are, attacker states. What do you mean? I, I mean that we have a, a political radar system that is outdated. Uh, it comes from the World War II, and we have uh, maybe renovated last time on the Cold War. So we recognize a threat or even an enemy. If it looks like Adolf Hitler and Joseph Stalin, organizing military parades, making tough talk, uh, aggressive talk. If people look very friendly, like the people in China and all over Asia, and they are attacking not with rockets and with guns and with tanks, but on the economic side, we don't recognize uh, that this could be a, a more terrible threat for this country and for the whole Western world. Yeah, and, and I couldn't agree with you more And the fact that this country, hey, from a German perspective, how, how does, we, we just announced today that uh, the, the Congress has a 9% approval rating uh, in this country. Uh, George Bush has the lowest of his presidency, one of the lowest other than Harry Truman in history. Uh, how are we perceived in terms of our leadership? I think people feel that something I is, is out of order, that the country is not on the right track. Uh, on my new car, I have a, a parking sensor system, uh, which gives us uh, a beep right. if we before you come to your neighbor. If our economy would have the same thing, uh, there would be a lot of noise in this country. Uh, we, we have the huge national debt, nearly nine trillion behind right. us. Right. On the side, the huge trade deficit. On the right side, the recession is looming, and in front of us, there is a big inflation, maybe a permanent inflation coming. Not only food prices, not only oil right. prices, uh, all the prices will go up. You say that, th and you write in the book, uh, uh, The War for Wealth, you write that the United States is in decline. How should we be dealing with that, that reality? First of all, to, to, to accept it. Mm -hmm. That's a reality. I think we should stop happy talk and all these rosy assumptions, uh, all this optimism. If it comes to politics, I admire most the American people and their optimism. In, in private life, it makes it easy to be here. And I love, and my family, we love it to be in the United States. But if it comes to politics, and especially to economics, it's... Uh, it's, it's a bad thing, maybe it's even a sin, uh, to be too happy, too optimistic. We have to be realistic, and that's what I call in my book, I call for a new realism. That new realism, uh, the relationship between Europe and the United States, the future of that relationship? The future of that relationship could be a big future if we understand that we have to pool our interests and fighting back all the other, we call them emerging nations, I call them attacking nations, which undermine our rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the labor market, they, they hurt a lot of our workforce and we have to pool our interests and something to create like the, what I call the United States of the West. Gabor Steingart, we thank you for being here, as always. Good to talk with you. Thank you, Luke. The book is The War for Wealth, and uh, I couldn't recommend it uh, too highly. Appreciate <laughs> it very much.